Opening line six, you're on BBC Southern Counties Radio. Hello. Oh, aren't you wonderful? When you stop blowing your own trumpet, might we have somebody else on? Hello, that's I can't... That's I... actually nearly thrown you for a moment, full of your own importance, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I am important. You don't like it, do you? You don't like it if somebody matches you at all. Well, you try then, go on. I don't want to match you, I don't think you're worth it. You're well, a megalomaniac. I've never met anybody Some idiot at the BBC me. has decided to put you on at prime time. you know, time. one of the best things about it is that you, you, you don't and like put it. put your callers down. The best thing about it is that you don't like it. I love that. Oh, it gives you a buzz, does it? Yeah. Oh, and where'd you go from there? What do you mean, where do I go from there? You don't question. have to make any changes, you stay the same. It's not a question. Because you think you've got what it takes. Yeah. And if we all switch off, will it get rid of you? I hope I wonder you how do. many people, if we all switched off, will we get somebody else on the Saturday night? The thing is, poor lonely heart you know, listening. I'll tell you, would you like to know why I like annoying you? It's you not like annoying me, I think yeah. you're absolutely pathetic. Am I annoying you? Well, you're not really worth being annoyed by. But you're full of yourself and Do you know why you I, do you know why I appreciate it? Do you know why I enjoy doing that? you people that like to listen and ring in, you put down it's and you eat for breakfast. you're a hateful piece of work. Of course I'm a hateful piece of work. And that's why I like annoying I'm not, you. I haven't actually bothered to switch I'm off and I'm going to, to now. I'm spend time in the same country as you. Well, actually, most you're of the You're not the interested in other people. people. You're not interested in other ideas. You're not interested in people. Let me speak. No, you're the one who keeps talking. I'm going to keep talking whilst you're talking. Because at least what I say is interesting and intelligent and more. No, you're and caring and decent, bloody... arsehole, bloody, what's yes, the matter with you, woman? You've you got a foul you mouth. A foul mouth, and I dare say you've got a foul mind. And you've got a foul you soul as well. Have you got a soul at all? Have you got a soul at all? Tell me the nicest, what's the nicest thing, you, what's the nicest thing you've done this year to date? Well, you wouldn't understand it because you're so full of yourself and you tell us. You understand all you these tell things. Us. Bitter, bitter I'm woman. not bitter at bitter, all. Bitter, cynical, rude, cruel, yes, nasty. And you've got prime time and all you do is talk to your little girl full of yourself and How could you? All How could you? That you're that a nasty piece all of work, woman. That have made comments. You are such a nasty piece of work. You haven't got a single oh, argument you except up, I don't like you. Grow up, boy. I don't tell like you. That's all you can you say is I don't like you. I don't like it. Yes, I have. You tell me one oh, thing I've I got wrong. Like it. All right, mate. Well, you tell me one that thing that I've bloody got waste wrong. Of time and don't talk while I'm talking. It's bloody rude. You're bloody rude. You're the rudest person I've met for a long, long time. Oh, thank God I haven't met you. Yeah, well, why don't you come around here and see if you can handle it? Where are you? Brighton. Just down from the station. Which station, darling? Brighton bloody station, darling asshole. Well... Arsehole, that's, that's what you one. call me. Oh, well, darling. That's I what you call me. You me. use the word arsehole and then you don't like being called an arsehole. What um, kind of an arsehole uh, are you? Are you? You can't get another job, presumably. I don't have to do this one. I do it for love. Oh, really? Yeah. The love of humanity. Okay. Including you. And I'm sad for you. Because you haven't got a single constructive argument, just hate. Bitterness. I don't have That's anything. all you've got. You haven't got an articulate argument, a considered argument. Okay. You haven't told me anything. You have an argument, you don't rate him. You, you haven't to... told me anything. You, you haven't said anything. Because you're good at arguing. All you've that done. You've got your job done. All you've done is be insulting. Rude. That's all you do to your Plain callers. Plain bloody rude. All you do to your callers, darling, I'm gonna is give to you... put them down. Some poor woman. I'm going to give you a. Ch I'm going to give you a challenge, and it's this. I don't need a challenge, darling. You yeah, well, you've got one. Biggest challenge. And if you can't rise to it. It'll just show you for what you are, which is besides all the hatefulness, you're vacuous. Here's the challenge. Oh, say something constructive. Say something, I'm articulate. Say oh, something trouble constructive. trouble the world, darling. You know everything yeah. about everything. You know, you have trouble the world. Saturday night. I've and you're lived butter. more in any one hour than you have in any of the decades of your empty life. So there. How do you know my life is empty? I can smell it. I can smell it on you. And, and what in your nasal passages gives you the, um, the, the um, what? to say that? No, because you came on here being horrible, and I'm so you're getting it back. Horrible. And you know the funny thing is, you can't hack it. You can't handle it. You can't even be ruder than me. You can't be constructive. You can't be articulate. You, be rude you can't you even rude be ruder than me. You and you know what? Your best at is being rude, and oh, I'm ruder yeah, than you. Bastard. So that's the reason why I'm arrogant, because I'm better than you, even at the one thing that you do do reasonably well, which is be nasty. What do you mean, be nasty? You're be a nasty. big boy, you've travelled the world, you've yeah. got the answer to everything. Absolutely What's everything. Why does being nasty upset you? It doesn't. 
Because you're not very good yeah, at it. No, I'm, I'm better, I'm better than you at it. Impossible. You tell me one thing that you can do half as well as me. I don't know what you can do other than shoot your mouth off. Well, you tell me one thing you think you can do well. Um, um, but if I was such a megalomaniac, I could probably do something very well. Well, we're, we're, we're waiting to, to hear what it is, I don't know. You're waffling. We're waiting to hear what it is. <coughs> Cough. Is that what you do best? I do lots of things quite well, but I won't discuss it with you. Well, you can't name any, because there's nothing you can do well. Well, that's your opinion. We always have to listen to your opinion. Until you, tell me one thing, until you tell me one thing that you think you can do well, oh, okay, do grow up. then besides that's being inarticulate and nasty, you're irrelevant. Well, you're irrelevant and you're on prime time and it's about time somebody got you out of your job. You can't do anything, can you? Of course I can. What's the point of you? What's what, the point what of you? The, I'm trying to listen to a program that's a load of crap. What is the point of you? All you've done is be foul-mouthed. I'm not foul-mouthed. No more than you Bastard be foul-mouthed. Bastard Well, what was I'm crap. Mean? I, I, I don't use language like that. I don't expect you to. Well, you've actually used quite a lot of foul language this evening. Not as much as you. Does it actually get recorded, your program? Not as much as you. Does your program get recorded? What do you mean by that? Well, when you uh, come off air and you say, well, haven't I had a good run, pat myself on the back and go home to the wife and the kids, how have I treated my audience tonight? And the answer is... You think you're the audience, don't you? I'm, I'm one of a very small minor, uh, minority. You're I one of an extremely people, small minority people of people who don't like this show. But the you, minute you come happens. to air, you're no longer an audi- a member of the audience. You're a member of the, you're part of the show. When you call the show, nobody makes you call the show. Nobody makes anybody call the show. When people call the show, they are no longer the audience. They are no longer a listener. They are a caller. They are part of the show. If you went to see one of these hypnotists and they got you on stage and made you act like a chicken, that's your fault for volunteering to go on the bloody stage. And that's what you're doing and that's what people do when they pitch up on this radio station and want to talk on air they are then part of the show and they are fair game and I let anybody come on this show and I let anybody say as much as they want to say even foul mouth people like you, you okay actually, you interrupt all the time you're the one who wouldn't shut up. No, you interrupt. I was trying to say something. You don't know how to have a conversation. Poor woman that you came me. straight to air and you barked straight away at me. That's not having a conversation. If you want to have a conversation, if you want to put some sensible points, if you want to say that there are some things that you'd like to hear well, that you're not hearing, you have an hearing the, with everybody that calls some, in. No, I don't. You argue with the girl that's, that's on simply air with you. inactive. So, so not only not home. right. So so you are inarticulate, vacuous, nasty, and you fail to listen. You can't listen. How can you call yourself a listener if you don't listen? I have been listening. That's what prompted me to ring you. Well, either then you haven't been listening, you don't listen very well, or you're a liar. You actually talk to your colleagues. You're a liar. You don't talk to any of your colleagues. You don't want to know what your callers have to say. Because Alison, you're is this woman talking everything. absolute rubbish, or is she talking absolute rubbish? Well, who's talking rubbish? You. You're on air, unfortunately, to one o'clock in the morning, and if we all switched off, I hope you lose your job. Well, why don't you do that? Because I don't want you listening. Yeah, she, she's gone and she's mm. hung up. She's going to pretend that she was cut off. Yeah, she's but hung she up. definitely hung up. Yeah. Well, why don't people like that just listen to something else? I don't know. Or we'll put a record on. That's yeah. what that little knob thing on the radio is for. You just turn it around Great and you fun, listen to it? something else. Good fun, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. She got that off her chest. I bet that made her feel quite mm. good. And I don't mind, because there's something of the element of kind of the Aunt Sally about it anyway, you know, chucking rotten tomatoes at the yeah. poor bloke in the stocks. And that's what she was having a pop at. Uh, oh eight four five nine. Loads of calls. Mm. Um, it was just, it's funny that, isn't it? I mean, she didn't realise that actually coming on the air and doing that, you know, is is, is in a sense quite enjoyable. Yeah. Quite entertaining. In a, a you know, hopefully a harmless way. Line three. Good evening. You're on BBC Southern Counties Radio. Sorry, I've got to crack on and try and get all these calls in. Hello. Well, I think you want to get off with your dirty, filthy mouth. Oh, well, we've we'll heard you enough on this Saturday night. Now it's time you got rid of it. What's your name then? Puts the phone down. Mm. How come an old lady can call me a bastard and arsehole no, no. and my show's a load of crap and I'm foul mouthed? It's your fault. I'm mm. foul mouthed. How does that work? Because they don't listen. Can you explain that? No. Can you explain that? No. Nope. <laughs> How does that work? Mm. It's scary. It's quite amusing though, isn't it? Line one, good evening, you're on BBC Southern Counties Radio. Right, well, I'll have a go at you, Tommy. That lady who came on and called you a few names had 
justification in calling you so you're the worst announcer that we've got on the radio you think you know everything I do. you're a bloody waste of time man are you going to stand up are you going to stand the argument or are you going to tear off like a coward boy. coward they are Another one bites the dust. Another the one that calls you an announcer. I've got the an announcer. You're the this worst is the, announcer. This is the BBC. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the BBC. This is your announcer, Tom Boyd, with you. 